Welcome to this video from the technology company. We're going to start creating a basic scribe which we're going to export as a PNG sequence. So that output keeps or preserves the transparency of the scribe which is what we want so we can overlay it in a video editing program on top of the other video and still see the background. So we're going to change the timing slightly And then when we're happy with that, we can export it by clicking on the, the video link, give it a name, and then select PNG sequence. And in this case, we're going to export a 720p video, so change the height to 720. And we're going to export it at 30 frames per second because the video that we're going to overlay this on is 30 frames per second. We want these two to match. So choose a folder where you want to export this sequence of PNG files, and there could be a lot depending on the size of your, uh, sorry, the length of your uh, scribe. We're next going to use a free tool called FFmpeg to combine these PNG files into a transparent QuickTime file, which will work in most editing programs. We're using Camtasia. So if you download it from this Zerino FFmpeg site, and you'll need 7-zip, which you can get from 9 slash 7-zip, that appears there on the screen. And we just need to extract the FFmpeg executable file, which is in the bin directory, to the folder we just created with the PNG sequence. So we need to start a command prompt, cmd, from the start button, and we need to navigate to the correct folder, use cd, change directory, to go to the correct folder, and then we need to run the command which will come on the screen. And the important parameters that you need to note are the minus r, and then the number 30 in this case, which is a frame rate, but that can be what you want, and the vcodec png, which is using the correct export which has the transparency preserved. You could also use Vegas or another video editing program to create this file. Unfortunately Camtasia doesn't, uh, sorry VideoScribe doesn't export an uh, ML file with transparency. So there we we're just looking at the, the video that we're going to overlay our scribe on top of and that's got the same frame rate, 30 frames per second. And we've imported it in and we're going to put it on top and we'll then see that the transparency is preserved. It's not a great background for this video because it's actually white, but it is uh, preserved. Thanks for watching.